Well, I'm pissed. My appointment was yesterday. Hi guys, Anne here and today we have another little car vlog. Anyway, I look a hot mess. Today is Friday morning, it's 8.39. I just dropped my daughter off at work and then at nine o'clock I have the cardiac rehab at nine. I go to the hospital every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Well, so let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. <laughs> Why? I'm so tired. I had an eye doctor appointment at 8.30 in the morning, okay? So, uh, if you're from the East Coast, you, I'm sure you heard of Will's Eye. That is the eye doctor. They have a hospital and different things and different offices. So, I live in Jersey and I had to go to Philly. Now, they have other ones in Jersey, but I don't know why my husband made it in Philly. So, of course, we had to leave by like 7.30. Our ambulance came by, so I had to pull over. So, uh, anyway, we get there and... So they put like re normal drops, they do like two drops, like a numbing, and then they put the eye drops in, right? They look at your eyes, you know, they do the pictures. But when you're diabetic, they put in a third different drop. It's a different drop that they put in, that they only put in for like diabetics or different people that they need to really look in your eyes. They're checking your retina, they're checking blood vessels, um, different things, because you know, when diabetes, you can go blind or, or have different things wrong, right? So, Everything came back fine. I have floaters in my eyes, but they're the normal ones. That a lot of people have floaters. They're not like the floaters, you know, that they need to be concerned about. My retinas are like perfect. And my eyes look, so in other words, I have no diabetes like in my eyes. Now I have vision problems and different things like that. But as far as like damage to my eyes from the diabetes, there are none. He was like, they're perfect. You wouldn't even know that you're diabetic. Do you know what I mean? In your eyes. So that's I am so lucky because like, you know, I haven't been taking care of myself. I think my last A1C was 9.9. .9. It used to be an 11. Now we got it down to 9.9, .9, but that's still a little high, you know? So that's amazing. But whatever they put in my eye, I was okay. And then when I went outside, you know, they give you those glasses, but I had such a migraine that I was nauseous all day. Once we got home, I laid on the couch, went to sleep for about three hours, woke up, still had a little headache, but I was nauseous all day. All, I mean, bad, bad, bad. I felt like I had a hangover. It was terrible. So then about 6, 6.30 at night, I felt a little bit better. Um, and I took a shower, all that, of course, you know, and then I went to bed early by like, I don't know, 9, 9.30. And for me, that's early because I don't usually go to bed till like 3, 4 a.m. Um, but because I went to bed early, then I'm up. <laughs> it was like 2 o'clock. I'm up, right? And then I finally fell back asleep, I guess about 5.30. And then, of course, I got to get up to, you know, do all this stuff. So, I feel like I haven't slept. I, it's because I slept too much, if that makes sense. So, it was one of those days that I didn't even, like, I just threw my hair up, you know, and brushed my teeth, washed my face. I don't even have any eyebrow stuff on. But listen... We're going, on this channel, we're going to film because we don't always get done up. Well, on this channel, what do I ever get done up? But do you know what I'm saying? Because life is life and real is real. And that's what we are on this channel. Do you know what I mean? Like, no filter. I don't really wear a lot of makeup, especially doing the walk and talks because I sweat and stuff, you know? It is 8.42. I have to haul tail to this hospital. Well, I, I'll probably get there on time, but... Um, Late. Oh, it makes me nervous. It's like rainy today, kind of. Um, it's supposed to be in the 60s, almost 70 today. That's good. Sunday is supposed to go up to 80. I cannot wait. I know some of you guys, like in different states, were like, oh, it's like 90 something or 100. I'm like, <laughs> it's still cold. Not cold, but like, you know, it's like 60s, high 50s, 60s, you know. going past the gas station it's like god gas is going up and up and up and I, I shouldn't complain because I know in California what is it like close to seven dollars or maybe over seven dollars um a gallon holy cow I don't know how the hell you guys do it like I, I shouldn't be complaining to be honest with you you know of course I'm looking at my daughter's car and a quarter tank she's always on a quarter tank always 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 uh I'm telling you I will probably fall out if I ever seen like a half a tank or a full tank. How 
how about uh, our last walk and talk? Let's uh, the last video. Let me know if you watched it when that horrible prank my daughter did to me. I was still mad about it. You know, I said something to her about it. I'm like, don't ever do that again. Like I was best. And she was like, mommy, it's just a prank. And I'm like, but it's not funny. You know, you want to do a prank? I understand, but not something like that because. You know, she don't have any kids, so she don't, she don't understand. And I'm old school. Let's be real. I am old school. Like, I don't play when it comes to my kids. Or I don't play this run-in-my-mouth stuff. No, 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 no. Like, certain things is just me. It's how I was raised by my mom and just how I was raised. Right? Like, you just don't do that. You don't play around like that. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to get off of here. And um, when I get out of rehab, I will come back, let you know how I made out and stuff. And then... I have a busy day because I have to, what do I have to do? So after my rehab, I have to hurry up and go home and get dressed. I have to put my makeup and stuff on because I need to film. I still never film for my first channel. I have a mystery box. I have the chic box. I have something from Ofra. I have a few things. Um, my Jeffree Star stuff comes in today. If you don't know, I am doing a giveaway. Once I do a uh, get ready with me on that palette, I will have a giveaway because um, I got an extra palette. Now, I do do not put giveaway in the title or thumbnail or anything like that. And then this month, I will have another giveaway because I know not a lot of people support Jeffree Star or want his product. So then we'll have like a regular giveaway, you know? But anyway, so like I have to film some videos, get dressed, film some videos. And then at 1.30, I have my very first nutritionist appointment. And I have to go back to the hospital and um, have it done there. And I don't know if that's just a one-time thing or do I go back or like what that's about you know what I'm saying so then I have to pick up my daughter at 345 so I have a busy day and then my husband may be coming back because right now he's in DC Washington DC for meetings and he wants me to come down so he left Thursday night or Friday I, when did he leave Wednesday night Thursday sure I don't remember <laughs> He yeah, yesterday, because, yeah, that's right, we went to my eye doctor appointment, and then after he dropped me off, he left. Anyway, so he might, and it's a four-hour drive, so he might be coming all the way back to come get me, um, and then if I do go there, I'll be doing some walk and talks there, I'll be walking around D.C. showing you, showing you the hotel, you know, all that type of stuff. I have to go through the mall to get to where I'm at, that's what, I don't know what you guys can say. So, my point is... I have to get a lot of stuff done today. So just in case I do go away for the weekend, I have videos filmed. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain, you know? I don't know. All right, so it's 8.47. Yeah, I'll be there within five minutes. I'll be, I'll be fine. I'm stressed. All right, guys. So anyway, after rehab, I will come back, let you know how I made out and stuff like that. So I'll be back. All right, so I am out of there. And I have to tell you guys what happened. It was so funny. But not funny, like, ha-ha funny. So, there's a guy. So, there was, I think, including me, there was five of us today. And um, there's a guy that comes in. Why is this not working? Okay. Um, and he turned 93 today. Now, remember I told you, so I do the treadmill. And I don't have my microphone, so if it's a little loud, I, you know. But, um, so... I do the treadmill first, then I do that arm thing that goes like this, right? And then I do the leg thing. And then as you, I guess, in, I, I don't know, uh, then you could do like the bike that has the bike and the arm thing. And then there's like weights you can do and all that. You know, you have to like progress. Anywho, so the guy turned 93 today and like I'm doing the thing. And when I tell you like I'm out of shape, okay, I'm out of shape. And... <laughs> I'm barely getting to the five minutes, right? And he's like, on the other one, like, yeah, turn it up, you know? And I'm like, like sweating. I mean, like I have no muscle, like none. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a little, you know, but like, oh God, look at the bruising. Every, look at this. I noticed I'm, uh, this is from when I had to get my cat scan and they put the contrast in it. But from the blood, I mean, I bruise easy anyway, but from the blood thinners, I bruise a lot. Like, Last week I had a bruise here. It looked like I was punched in the face, but I, but I don't know. I must say I, I don't know what. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bruise now that I did that. Um, anywho, but I'm like I'm starting to feel bad. Like these pe most of the like it's all men. I'm the only woman, and the men are like look like they're in their seventies. You know, and the one guy I told you was ninety three, and here I am in my forties. <laughs> 
and they're doing better than me. But they don't make, they don't make people like that anymore. I can't, I always tell you, my grandmother's generation, that generation, like they had farms and they worked and they ate properly. Like, I mean, nowadays, like my kids days, they complain just doing the treadmill for 10 minutes. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they don't know what it's like to walk anymore. Sure, they have a car and, you know, just like me when I had a car, like, now I'm enjoying walking. You tell my my kids to walk, they're like, what? What do you mean walk? You know what I'm saying? Where the hell am I going? I have no idea. All right, so I'm going to get off of here. And like I said, I got to hurry up and go home, put my makeup on, film some videos. And then I have my first nutrition, it's like a for diabetes, like a diabetic nutritionist. And I don't know, maybe it's for cardiac. I, I don't know what it is, but it's a nutritionist at 1.30. I have to come back to this place. And uh, like I said, I don't know if it's one time thing or do you come? I know they said bring my meter. I got put on a new meter. I haven't used it yet. I picked it up yesterday. It's where you have these sensors and you, you put it in your muscle right here. And then um, you change it every 14 days I believe um, so and then you just take the machine and go like this you don't have to prick your finger anymore so I gotta figure out how that works anywho so what is my point oh so I have a lot to do by 1 30 to get there and then be able to pick up my daughter and then see if hubby is picking me up then I have to pack my stuff you know all that stuff so I will see you guys I don't know when I'll come back but I'll probably most likely on the way to the nutritionist I'll probably come back so I don't even know if we'll have a walk and talk today to be honest with you I probably won't have time yeah it'll probably just be a car vlog today all right so I'll be back okay so I am back I am all done up so you can dress me out just can't take me out anywhere because I don't always know how to act Anywho, so I went home. I did film three videos for my main channel. I did the uh, Juvia's Place Mystery Box. That should go up tonight. I did the Chic Beauty Box. And can I just tell you, oh my God, the one product in there is definitely expired. <laughs> oh, wait till you see that video. And then I did like this Ofer bag um, that they're giving back for like nurses, Nurses Day and stuff. They're giving like every, anybody who buys it, they're giving back five dollars I think that's great so I wanted to get that up just to show you guys if you were interested in that and whatnot it is literally starting to rain again and the the sky is like black it's turning black like my god it's been raining here for like a full week off and on since last weekend remember that's why I couldn't do my travel vlog so anyway I'm on the way to I don't know if I told you or not I'm on my way to my nutritionist appointment that is at 1 30 it is 1 16 right now it takes about five minutes I have to go to the hospital to get it done and I won't know if it's like one visit if it's multiple like I, I really don't know so and I feel like a fool I got this new uh, meter I think I told you guys earlier and uh, you, you put it on, it's like a sensor. You put it on your arm, the back of your arm, and you can take your meter and just scan it. That way you don't have to prick your finger anymore. And then you change it out every 14 days. First of all, that meter and stuff alone was over $1,000. Thank God I have insurance, okay? I only had to pay, I think it was like $50 I paid. And then every 14 days, so every 28 days, I pay, so every 14 days would be 35. If I do it every month, it'd be like $70 just for the sensors. But I will pay it because I am so sick of pricking my fingers. That's another reason why, let's just be real, that I didn't always check my sugar. I'm gonna be honest with you, you know? Cause that hurt, that hurts and I'm a punk. So my point is me and my son Isaiah, who's 17, we're like, how the heck does this work? So I figured, you know what? When I get back, I'll, you know, put it on and stuff like that. Then I'm like, well, how are you supposed to take a shower? Cause you can, can you get that wet? I don't know. I have to put it on my right arm because I'm left-handed, you know? I have no idea. It's getting humid out. Yeah, so I've been very productive today. Very productive. I'm very proud of myself. All right, so let me get there because you guys know I don't like to be late. And um, 
once I get there and like get out, I don't even know how long it is, half hour, hour. I, I don't know if there's gonna be other people there with me. I have no idea. So once I get out, I'll come out and tell you how it went and what they said and all that. So I'll be back. Well, I'm pissed. My appointment was yesterday. I don't know why I would do that because I had a counseling appointment last night. Like I had the eye doctor appointment. So when you go to the um, the lady, she every time she tried to call to see if they could still get me, nobody's answering. So they're probably with a patient or with, with somebody. So now I have to reschedule. Oh, I'm so mad. Cause I would never make appointments like on the same day. I, I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, so that was a wasted trip, which I rushed to make those videos. <laughs> because I, I told you I had I thought I had an appointment at 1.30, but that's all right, that's okay. So now I'm gonna go home for a little bit and chill because I do not have to get Lexi until 3.45. So that's what we'll do. My Jeffree Star stuff did come in, but I'm not gonna film that because then I'd have to take all my makeup off to try on the stuff, all that, you know, stuff. So I'm just gonna go home and edit. I'll edit this vlog. This will be a shorter vlog and um, I'll edit the one for the main channel and yeah i'll keep you updated whether or not i'm going to dc or not but yeah that's everything guys short and sweet <laughs> please like this video really does help me out or dislike it that helps me out too leave a comment let me know how your day is going let me know what you have plans for this weekend and uh yeah that's everything guys stay beautiful stay blessed stay healthy and most importantly always stay you and i will see you in my next video Bye, guys.